The first thing you will notice having opened NOAA is that the layout has changed. Modules and sessions can all be viewed simultaneously from the opening page. The modules are all displayed near to the top of the page. Each area, patient details, modules and sessions can be expanded or closed depending on your preference and what you would like to view at any particular time. On expanding the patient details area, you will see that all patient demographics are viewable. Moving into the modules area, modules can now be viewed in categories. Clicking the All tab will display all available NOAA modules. Measurement, just those modules relating to measurement. Fitting, the fitting modules. And other, any other modules not fitting into the other categories. Each user can change the order of module logos to preferred order. Right click on the modules bar whilst the All tab is selected. Click on the Arrange Module Order and the Module Bar Configuration window will open. You will see that there are selectable options, User Defined and Default. Under this a list of the installed modules. Select a module that you wish to move. Use the up and down buttons to place the module in your desired position and click OK. The modules displayed in the Modules Bar will now be displayed in your chosen order. If we again bring up the Module Bar Configuration window, select the option for setting the module logos in the default order and the Modules Bar will now display the module logos in order of the date they were installed. To open a module, single click the module logo. The software for your chosen module will open over the top of the NOAA page. You can then open another module should you require, running both fitting and measurement software simultaneously. You can spot between the two bits of software via the icons on the taskbar as needed. When expanding the Session and Actions section, Session Dates will be displayed. These can be displayed in ascending or descending order by selecting the tick box. Open the Session of Interest and the actions for that session will be displayed. Click on the action that you wish to view and the relevant module will open, displaying that action. An action can also be deleted by clicking the Delete Action button shown at the end of each action. You will be asked to confirm that you wish to delete the chosen action and when confirmation is given, the action will disappear from the list, leaving the remaining sessions and actions on display. NOAA can be minimised in order that you can review audit base. On minimising NOAA, the NOAA icon will move from the taskbar at the bottom of the page into the system tray. Although NOAA can be displayed again by right-clicking the icon in the system tray, it is recommended that you do this by clicking on measurements within Audit Base and selecting your desired route back to NOAA. A change that will hopefully be welcomed by all is that you no longer have to close down and reopen NOAA when changing clients. Just leave NOAA running re-enter audit base, select your new client and this will automatically change the client within NOAA. You will need to be aware however 
that if you try to change clients whilst having a NOAA session open for your current client, you will be informed that this is not possible. You'll need to close that NOAA session prior to changing client. Once that NOAA session is closed, change your client and continue using NOAA freely. If you would like any further information on the use of NOAA within Audit Base, or you'd like information on any other Audit Data products, then you can contact us at UK Support at AuditData.com or visit us at www.auditdata.com.